hey guys welcome to my youtube channel welcome again thank you for clicking on this video and uh, my name is Aline Lovi. if this is your first time to my channel you know what to do and if you're already part of this family thank you thank you thank you so much so in this video I'm just going to answer some of your questions through my um, previous videos I saw in, in the comment section you you people were asking so many questions so today I'm going to go through those questions and try to answer you in detail so yeah stay tuned and i'll be back after the intro so the first question is from flavor he's from ghana he said i love your video because you make it clear and understanding but my question is that what if i i and my fiance apply as single then won the DV lottery on our DS260, what should we do? Should we get married before filling the DS260? Thank you. So yeah, I think I've already answered this question in one of my video. I explained to you how we got married after we won the DV lottery. So it's possible for you guys to get married after you won the DV lottery. Yeah, you can still get married. If you applied as single, if and you can get married after you have won the DV lottery before you fill the DST60 after winning before you fill the DST60 because when you're filling the DST60 they will ask you you're single you can say married and you write the date that you were married I hope that's clear another person is Juma this person asked me, uh, Aline, can I study in the U.S. without a DV lottery? Of course, you can study in the U.S. without a DV lottery. As long as you have your money, you apply for a student visa, you can study in the U.S. And if you are, you are a DV winner, you can also study. So all the means are possible. As long as you have the money to afford your education and other stuff, you can study here. It's possible. So it's up to you to look for the university you want to go to and uh, try to apply because it's possible mm, another question is uh, from Jacqueline uh, she said uh, she's a Kenyan but she lived in, Qu in Qatar which embassy will I go in case I will be selected so this uh, particular person is in, in Qatar and uh, she's from this person is in qatar and she's from kenya so she's asking if she gets selected which country she should uh, she should go to for the interview i think both countries are okay you can go either to qatar or it, to kenya both are okay if you want to go back to your country to continue the process both ways are okay yeah i think dennis also asked the same question hello thanks for this video i would like to ask for those who are in foreign country so it's not a must one goes back to their mother country once they win a green card no it's not a must you can take my example i was in china by that time we couldn't go back to our country because of the pandemic and stuff so we did everything in china so it's possible for you to do all the process after you get selected you can do that in the country where you are and go to the u.s embassy in that country and you 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 you, um, you have to prove that you you if you are in a foreign country you have to say which country are you from and for how long have you been living in the foreign country so these are the details you should give when you're filling your ds260 so many people have been asking me about the wedding i've already said that in the video we got married after being selected i hope that's clear you can still get married and uh, fill the ds260 after being select after being selected i hope that's clear mm okay and uh this person also asked hi dear i have a question if you've applied for the dv lottery 
2024 hoping to win but you don't have a passport should i wait for the confirmation letter i've won so that i can start applying for a passport and will it arrive before the interview or should i start my passport application as soon as possible without even knowing if i win or not thank you so for this question i'll suggest that you do your passport as soon as possible because i don't know from which country you are but i know some countries in africa it takes long for them to get their passport it can take maybe a month three months or four months you know all that you can so it will if you do that if you do your passport after the results are out it's gonna take you a lot of time and you're gonna waste a lot of your time but if you do that before your results are out in case you win that you would have um, accomplished a big step of your um, of uh, among the documents that you need to have but in case you don't win you can still use that passport it's not only the us you can also choose to go to other country to travel to other country you have the advantage because you have your passport already so in that case i would say that it's up to you okay and you should also do the research in your country like for how long uh, how long does it take for your passport to come out that will so uh, will also help you to decide when you want to do your passport but um, the one that i would suggest is that you do your passport now before knowing your results so that when the results come out you'll be prepared you should have done at least let's say um 50 percent of the work you are supposed to do by gathering the document that's what i have to say for that question okay another person sent me this question he said hey lovey how about if someone applied and selected but don't have any academic document my friend applied but she doesn't have any papers so uh this question i would suggest you go look for the high school degree because it's hard for you to uh to apply for dv lottery without the high school degree so you, you will need that and uh, if you have never done university it's better you bring your experience if um if you, you should bring your high school degree at least that's what they require you should have at least your high school degree okay and if you haven't maybe taken that from your 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 former school you should go and try to look for it and have it by the time you go for your interview because uh, without that i don't know what is gonna happen this is um 50 50 chance you might win you might also lose so it's better you get prepared in advance but in case you don't have that you can bring your work experience to prove that you have been working you can go to your boss ask them to write a letter for you that you have been working there how long have you been working there from which day to which day so ask your boss we whatever com company you have worked in she has worked in she should bring the proof um, a letter from their boss the the boss that she was working there from this time to this time so the things that are re required is your um academic document this is should be at least high school you should bring that try to look for that and if you don't have the the academic um document but you were you were selected you can bring your work experience something that proves that you have work experience yeah so that's for this question uh favor again asked please when we win the lottery will we give the will them give us the chance to prepare the necessary document before filling the ds260 yes the the answer is yes the result comes out in um, may and uh, you have one full year to look for the document and the ds260 normally expires on the 30th of april so let's say you win the dv lottery in let's say the results come out in may 2023 okay but 
you still have one year to complete all the documents because the DS-260 will expire by April 2024. So you have one year to look for the document, to gather all the documents that you need. You have enough time to do that. Yeah, so I think uh, these are the questions that I could answer for today and uh, in the future I will do also other videos but for, for today I think that's enough. Yeah, so we are at the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share with your friends, your family, whoever is interested in DV Lottery, please share my videos with them and please subscribe, okay? So I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.